I I I I I re- read hard for this episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Link Link's going through Link's going through the fire and the flames and not being affected at all. I are you heated up? Are you I are you amped up? Are you ready to <laughs> Well, never mind. <laughs> Well, I guess that rained on our parade, quite literally. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, episode 100, episode Dalmatians. <laughs> in this, ev- in in last episode, I showed off, you know, you know, small, small, small little mechanics that you might not have know, no, known about, and provides a better play experience if you can find it at the right time. Anyway, in in this episode, Alice, what's your plans? I'm going to do some k- Korok hunting in Gerudo, as you can see. Yeah, we've yeah we've managed to get a map, and we know pretty much all where the Koroks are. So hopefully, we 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 will we 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 will be clearing up the uh, Gerudo de- a desert and getting close to that sweet one uh one hundred percent completion. And there's more than just these three, these four poses. Okay, show them off then. The goat is waiting in, in anticipation. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I, I, I like how the guy just tr- just went on. <laughs> Ooh, look at that pose. Link is ready to fight. And now Link is. Is pondering. <laughs> nice. I think I think I like that pose best. Me too. It's like so epic in the rain as well. And with the royal ro- 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 guard bow, no less, which we have not got in our weapons apparently. Fair enough. And the ancient arrow as well looks very nice. Have we have we have we had a chance to get a royal an an ancient arrow or did we not are we unable to get a shot of it? Either way. This is Zel uh, this is Zelda snap, damn it. Oh, there we are. Nice. <laughs> it's reminiscent of the title screen. Mm-hmm. Very much so. I like that. Mm-hmm. And that, g- and that gets us a bit closer to 100% co- uh, completion in the game. If we're going for that, that is. I think I think I think I think we already got all all the arrows except for the ancient ones. Yeah. <laughs> but nice. So as anyway, with that, let la, la the bone let the bonus episodes begin. <laughs> Again. You know, because we're not done yet. <laughs> and, 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 and and here we are back at the Back at the really difficult and real and really and really t- 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 tedious shrine of standing there. <laughs> and hopefully with this, there's a Korok around here apparently. Somewhere. Well, that's gonna be. Ah, oh, here it is. And gee, I wonder, I wonder what the puzzle is. Can you, can you guess? Cause I can't. Oh boy. I like all finding the e- uh, these ones after the fact. Oh well. But that's another one down. And so now, and so now, I guess since we're just, we're just doing the Korok seeds, I think it's time we had a bit, a bit, a bit more. I don't know more. I don't know more. What the hell was that? 
<laughs> okay. He obviously went down. He tried to. He tried. He, he tried to mimic Link's ways of going down a mountain. <laughs> Very poorly, but oh well. But yeah, now that we go in cor 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 Korok hunting, let's let's divulge more in in into our thoughts of the game. So, what do you think your highlight uh, of either the project or either the game was? Well, pretty much everything. I enjoyed everything about it. <laughs> is, there one, is, there, is there a particular moment or a particular er, er, area of the game which you liked and in, 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 in which you liked more? Mm. I can't really think of an area that I, I favor. Mm-hmm. Anyone that you anyone that you disliked more than than any of us? Mm. Can't really think of one I don't like. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they all they all the areas have their pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So, is there? I don't know any. I don't know any mechanic or anything in the game which, in in which you really enjoy or really don't like me and, and again this is this is your this is your your time to express yourself you know and to enjoy and to you know express your feelings with, uh, on the game or the project mm, the guardians they're pretty terrifying but at the same time they're really exciting <laughs> mm. especially since they're pretty much everywhere even in the beginning areas yeah i feel i feel I kind of, I kind of like that subtle design choice of saying, "Look, saying, look, these things exist in the world, and this is only the start." It gives you a sort of warning, like, "Look, this is the type of dangers you're going to run into, so just watch out." I like the, I like, I like, I like the subtle things. For me, f, f me, f, f me, honestly, I gotta say, my f perhaps my favorite part of the game is. I ever got to be uh, at the Yiga clan hideout, or maybe just ah, uh, I gotta say Hyrule Castle as well, because both of those, both of those are they're different, they're en er en er en er entertaining, especially with the final boss, and especially with the boss and the bosses of of those areas. And include, include, including Master Koga, <laughs> no, he wasn't the he wasn't the hardest boss, not by a long shot. But I think he made up for that for just the the aspect of entertainment value and comedy. Just especially, especially, especially with the way he died as well. Well, say died, you don't know that for sure, but eh, implied implied death. I thought that were, I thought that was really re re really enjoyable. I kind of feel weird about saying hey look someone's death was humorous <laughs> but but Hyrule Castle as well with the with, it's just that moment of tension and just that feeling of like look everything we've done has built has built up to this I mean because we've literally beat beaten around the bush you know going from region to region going from the left of the castle to the right to the north to the south and just feel like we know it's there but there are, there's other stuff that we need to do but to finally get there after all especially after all that we we went through just that moment of like this is it the final battle. Everything Ganon has, whether it's guardians or high power or or high powerful full enemies, it's all been thrown at us. And I personally just real I really like the tone of the area. I like I like the way it looks, especially where especially when you get higher up on the castle with with like the the sky the sky going absolute absolutely nuts with all of the with all of the colours it has. And just the way the level and le level design is laid out is laid is laid out as well. I mean, you still see parts of the castle which are still in, I guess, in decent condition. Like the hallways, they still have the they still have the red red carpet in good condition. The the walls are 
crumbled, decayed, but still held some uh, some kind of structure. And just with, and I think I think the I think the best part of it is just. I think I was thinking my favorite um, my favorite part of it is just like the way the key rooms are still are still are still are still there in the cat in a, in, a, in, a, in the castle. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. For example, you see, you see Princess Zelda, Zelda, Zelda's study, which is it's all it's all it's all very formal. It's all very it's all it's all it's all very professional. I mean, right down, I mean, right down to um, her notes in her diary. It's just like, look, the Silent Princess research on this and that. It kind that gives you a bit of. A bit of character development in what Zelda and what Zelda was like dur during all this. Ah, oh, there, there it is. Screw you, Rock. Nice jump, and that brings us to our first Korok. <laughs> well, second. Sec second, yeah. And he's gonna die in inside 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 this desert. Oh no, but just, but just, but just in her work diary, in, in, in her study, that gives you a lot of development in what she was like, saying, look, I have this heavy bird, I have, I have, I have, I have this great duty and bird, and bird, and I'm on my shoulders, but I still, but I still want to have interest in, you know, you know, in, in, in like flowers and being and just nature itself of, of Hyrule I thought that was a really a really charming feel of a feel to it not and not that that and accompanied with the, uh, the flashback in which in which was right outside and right outside of uh, her study it's almost it's almost depressing because you see all of this passion and all of this interest in in nature of Hyrule with 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 her resource research, and then to be told, you know, you know, her f a, a king a king a king a king of Hyrule just just basically di disapproved of it all. And mm, nice charge, by the way. But then again, I say, I say, I say, I say it's, I say it's, I say it's depressing, but at the same time, it just adds to, it just adds more emotion to the next point I'm going to make, which is, which is again, the King's study in, in, in the library. Mm -hmm. I like, for one thing, I like, I like how, I like how it's hidden away. Ganon and the and, and and the enemies inside of the castle don't know it exists. It's still in prime condition. There's good weapons, good shield, a uh, 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 good shield in there, and not to mention it has it has a diary of of the king himself. And 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 as the point I may I mentioned about him about him, you know, essentially scorning Zelda for liking or, or focusing on different things. It's like to show to sh to see uh, to see that he he had regret for the way uh, for the way that he had he had to treat Zelda through uh, through her life and and the way he scorn scorn scorned it in that flashback and then to turn around and say look when Zelda comes back I'm just gonna talk to her because yelling is pointless now mm -hmm. I think those words to me they're really powerful because it says look. Yeah, yelling's pointless now, because keep in mind, on the day he wrote that note, I'm just going into massive spoiler, spoiler territory, so as as I apologize, <laughs> I shouldn't mention. Well, we've that. already completed the story, so I think people watching the whole series would have would already know what's going on by now. I know, I know, but this is not more of a story aspect for me, but it's just it's just praising the the subtle. Uh, a, a subtle but very, a very powerful emo emotions that that are in the story, in the story, 
or at least the things that you might might miss and to me that's one of the best things in games it's just the little bits of lore that you might miss in game but if you look for it it can it can add a hell of a lot i mean to i mean but to what uh, to what i was saying while while the king was was writing that uh, was writing that page on on the day zelda she was things were not looking good she had been she had been she had been to two or two two of the three springs at this point and not felt anything not only would that add pressure on her but uh, but the entire king, king kingdom as well and just to just to get told hey look you have all this potential you've got to do this big thing and you're not seeing any results from from it no matter how hard you're trying it can get you down it can get anyone down I mean not just not just in this not just in this game but in real life if someone gets told hey look you have a, a big a big important thing to do but you but nothing you're you you're doing is living up to it no matter how hard you try it can get you down and and I think and I think the king noticed that and and I think and I think even he knew it's like look yelling at Zelda, yelling at Zelda is not gonna make is not gonna make her feel better and it's just that subtle just that subtle a character arc you go f I mean because he went from a king who was like so hell-bent in protecting Hyrule in making sure that Ganon did not uh, was not being resurrected making sure that all of these divine beasts and everything that the Sheikah built essentially well I was all elf 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 I was all ma uh, maintained but and then just, and then having that being taken out, or having to take that frustra uh, frustration out on family. I mean, let alone, I mean, let alone your kin. That could be hard. That can definitely be hard. And just to, and it shows, it shows human emotions. Just say, look, she's been through enough. You know. You know, I need to cut. I need to cut my my daughter Ray because things are not looking good for her at the moment. No, no, I just think that small, subtle design choice, all these character develop, development, makes it a really charming thing. And, uh, but. But that, but that, at that point though, just makes it e, it just makes it e, if even more, if if even more of a shame that Zelda, on that day when her, her, her father was gonna make, you know, theoretically make peace with her, and you know get give her a boost, and all right, and I mentioned, and I mentioned this in the video. Well, when we saw when we saw that journal, but again, I just feel like it's really tragic. In some way. <laughs> there you are. That took a while. Ow, 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 my toe. <laughs> You 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 hit my toe, damn it! <laughs> my Korok toe. Ah oh, yes, I remember these statues. <laughs> oh, statue oh. shrine and sanity. Mhm. Mm Enter Link here. <laughs> no 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 no. We're not. We're not plugging our own content. What is that? <laughs> like and subscribe. No. <laughs> oh no! But going back, uh, but going back through, uh, through, uh, through, uh, through these, it makes me very reminiscent of, of all, of all we've done. Hey, Cora.
you hit the toe again. I think I have to say a few of my favorite episodes. I've got to, I've got to put sixty six on there. Yeah. <laughs> because because sixty six was such a lot of things went wrong, but at the end of the day, it was such an adventure, and it made things made it made things humorous. I just I I just like I just like looking back and what. And watching our videos again. <laughs> I've also got to say, Rivali's gale is now ready. Yes, thank you, Rivali. I've I've also got to say the I've also got to say the gale is now ready. <laughs> no, no, but I have to say, since since we're in the desert, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say divine be. A, a, a divine beast, Oboros. Oboros? Naboros, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You still can't get the name right. I don't know! <laughs> okay, I know it's Urbosa and, and, and Oboros. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I have to say the divine beast of that, of that, of the area has got to be one of, has got to be a, fa a, fa a favorite of mine. This is the core of puzzle I failed to do because of Naboris. Yeah. Well. 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 Luckily now we can make up. We we can make up lost time. It's almost like we have this thing planned out. <laughs> I know structure. Who'd have thought? No, no. But I have to say, the divine that that divine beast was one of my favorites because it was such a challenge, both in puzzle wise and. And in boss battle wise, because that I feel I, I I feel like that was a, a test, an honest challenge, and I did it. I feel I felt I felt I felt I felt really good about that. I I got beaten up, absolutely. I was I I absolutely got wrecked during edge of my first life. But it's that conflict and that struggle which makes it more more fun. And that's what a game and that's, and that's and that's what a game should should be. A game, a game in my honest opinion, should be. There you are. Get in the hole. I had the same problem last time. Yeah. No, no, but I think a game should. It should give you. It should give you the challenge and give you the pieces on how to beat. I'd be, I'd be in a challenge, and and it was, because up until that point, we we didn't know much about lock on, we didn't know much about dodging or per or perfect dodges or flur or flurry attacks. We 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 were pretty much get get getting started on that. No oh god, you think you, you, you think it's you think it's trees, but cactus form. Mm -hmm. Yep, sure enough. So you've got to take, yeah, simple enough. And can you climb up the cactus? Oh no, 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 no! Oh, that's a cheap move. Oh, 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 oh. nice. <laughs> I'm I'm sinking in sand here. <laughs> I think another reason why I liked I like divine I like divine beast Nabora so much is because again of the again of the uh, the puzzle the fight itself I thought they I I thought they were all challenges to our at um at, at, at to our intelligence. Ow. Speaking of intelligence, he got an arrow. He, he, he got an arrow straight through the brain. <laughs> oh no, but the try, uh, but the challenge of, of the puzzles and the boss itself, which honestly, I think, I think the Nabor the boss is the most difficult divine beast there yeah, is. Yeah, with this intense speed and everything. Yeah, and not to mention, and, and not to mention the amount of levels you had to go through, if, if, after the puzzle itself, because with with Meadow. Just had to tilt. 
one way, one way or the other, with with the uh, divine beast and and in Death Mountain. Rodania. Yeah, Rodania. Sorry, it was just like, look, do you do you, uh, do you tilt him one way or the other? Pretty much just like meadow, but just uh, but just on a more verticality perspective. Mm-hmm. And then and then there was Ruter, which uh, which was in my opinion the second most hardest divine beast. Hardest divine beast? It seemed pretty easy to me. I mean, in terms of puzzles, it was mm. because again with Radania and and meadow, it's like look, do you, do you, uh, do, uh, do you tilt it left or do you tilt it right? But with Ruta, it was like, look, you have one one aspect, but you raise, but you raise the trunk one level, two levels, three levels, four four levels. With Naboris, you had you had like what, twelve, twelve, if not more con- uh, configurations. Do you tilt the back to the de- uh, to the uh, to the bottom? Do you tilt the middle to the up? Do you tilt the the forward to um, you know to the west, mm-hmm. and not to mention connecting electricity, but also working in momentum and weight puzzles and all that. That's a lot to handle in one in one divine beast. And again, I thought the final boss the, at the uh, at the thunder blight that was the most difficult boss. But again, no, the most challenging, but it, uh, but it was also the most rewarding, because you feel like yes. That was a real challenge, and I did it. And it's games that give you that sense of, I did it. That, uh, that moment of, you, you offer me a challenge, and I beat it. That, th- 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 that's what good games give you in Spoonforce, and I felt like it gave me a lot of that during jo- that divine, uh, 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 divine Beast. I mean, what about you? Did you feel like there was any battle or or any or any or or any area of the game that gave you one of those moments? That gave me what moment? The feel, the feeling of like you game presented a, a challenge for me, and I did it. I feel good about myself. Probably the thunder blight. Mm-hmm. Because of how fast it was, it was hard to land a hit with it. Okay, and that five ruby you just get across the sound, but I, uh, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, with with you playing, did you in any, at any point with you playing, did you feel like you had you had you had one of those moments when I defeated a Mulduga for the first time? Mm-hmm. I was and, quite proud of that. Yeah, and right, and 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 right so because again, it was a challenge in which you fought. Ooh, I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I will be able to do that, but once you do it and get stuck in, and you do well, and Lionel's defeating Lionel was a proud moment for me too. Exactly, and those in this games that give I give you that challenge and you beat it, and it gives you that immense amount of dopamine because you feel like yeah, yeah, there was a really hard challenge. One at first I thought I thought I never do, but I did it. And I think that is... Oh, hey, Korok. Well. This is awkward. Yeah. Um. Bye-bye. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the sandstorm by, you, by yourself. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Goodbye. I will mourn... I'm sure your kin will mourn you. <laughs> That's plenty of fairies here. And hopefully... And hopefully you won't cook them all. I only cooked one. Okay. And it gave a fairy tonic. Uh-huh. In which we have. But, there you know. That's a story for another day. <laughs> I think another one... I think another one of my favourite moments... Well, actually, before I get to that point, I want to go back to a bow... A bow so for just... A, a just a moment, but... Not only just, you know... You know, uh, 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 the puzzle and beating the divine and beating the blight was was a great a great feeling, but also the reu- re- reunion with Abosa herself. I mean, I have to say, of all the champions, I I really like Abosa. I like Abosa too. Cause I don't know, just it's just that confident female character. I just I just find that. Oh no, I'm not gonna say attractive. <laughs> 
uh, because that's that's um, a really awkward thing I think thing to say. But oh no, I just find it appealing. Oh no, I just like characters which are like not not all broody and not all serious. You know, just some uh, just something with a light a light heart and she's and throughout uh, throughout all of the times which she saw of both uh, whether it was flashbacks or you know you know a divine beast and all that she sh she seemed to have fun or just have enjoy enjoy herself in every moment she that she was in and i know i just really like that mm -hmm. and not to mention she she knew she she, she knew about about what about what might might be going on between uh, between me uh, between Link and Zelda. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though you know you know as a you know as a boy as Link, we are we are we are oblivious to those feelings for the most part. And well, well, there's one thing Link is not oblivious to, and it's that. Remember, remember when you talked about, you know, fighting Mo Mo uh, Moduga for the first time? Mm-hmm. And, ouch. Well, at least now, at least now, at least now you get to relive those glory days. Again, this is, again, this is why I really enjoy just going back through, through, uh, through uh, the, as uh, as areas and reliving these, these fights and these moments. And now it's a cakewalk. <laughs> and Link gets weary. <laughs> let's get, let's get his guts, his fins, and what and whatever he ate, which was a raw, 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 raw. So fair enough. So that makes a shrine appear. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, just going back to a for I've I've just I've just little a little a little a little bit more. Just how I don't know, she just seemed very very, very intelligent, very confident, but never overstayed her welcome or never got annoying, at least in my honest opinion. It's like look Say, look, I know what I'm doing, and I know what's going on between you and Zelda, even if you two don't. I love how confident she is. Exactly, and com and confidence can be uh, can be appealing, both in real life and and with characters, because you because you normally do not do not like a char a characters who whine who whine and and complain so much. Mm -hmm. You know, y you know, or get. Or get captured a lot of times and then and then and then do nothing for the plot. I guess you can say they are pretty useless. <laughs> oh, Insert yeah. stale mean here. Yeah. They are pretty useless. But it's pe uh, but it's but it's when it's when it's when characters like uh, like who have confidence appear, it makes it just a more enjoyable experience because it almost because I guess I guess you could say. I guess you say the the characters know you're having fun while playing the game, so I guess they just want to enjoy. I guess the I guess the the setting with you. No, no. I guess it sort of goes into more of like a game is much more fun with, you know, when you're with other people uh, compared to playing it on your own. Mhm. Mm I mean that's why co-op things are so. Are, are so fun. And with and with someone else being there, there's a second pair of eyes. Exactly. 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 But confidence and happiness, it can be infectious. Mm -hmm. And if someone in the game is is portraying that, then you know what? It has an option to be infectious. And I've been and I and and I think that's what a boser is for me. And that guy is cowering, and his wife is being beaten up. A true man, a true man indeed. But luckily, we have a real man's man. You know, you know, in a tree. 
and well and and once again watching watching the poor fabulous <laughs> well well I won't be beat well I don't know if I want to bother because they're not gonna they're not gonna reward me yeah and that's a point I'll get to I'll, I'll, I'll get to later on but still, though, to some, uh, to, uh, so, uh, some of my thoughts, Urbosa, mm, Naboris, Divine Beast Challenge, loved it, re re really enjoyed it, a real challenge, and it, ge it gives you a great, a great, a great fe feeling, as far as I'm concerned. And following that, I think I have to say, I also liked Ruta as well. Ruta? Yeah, yeah, Ruta, the, the Divine Beast, because that... Because that was our first divine, divine, divine beast that we did. That was, for me, it was the first true sign to say, like, look, we're being serious about this. We are no, we are, we aren't, you know, mea meandering around exploring. We are actually getting on with our with our mission. Mm -hmm. And just that step into a divine beast, not knowing what was ahead of us, not know, not knowing what 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 was going on. I just found that re 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 really mysterious, and and I think and I think and I think that's what and if that if that if that and if that's what their intentions were, then I think it worked because with like Link, we had no recollection of what a divine beast was. I mean, because Link was asleep for a hundred years, didn't know what was going on, and didn't know what he was getting into. In yeah, either... we were about as ignorant as Link. Exactly, and I think, and I think making se setting up Link that way, it makes you. It makes gel. It makes gel gel a, a gel a gel better. I like I'm not. I like I like I'm not e shaving no no sing. Nice, shocking, isn't it? <laughs> Ow. Oh no, but I just think the way the way it set it set it set it set Link up in that way, and through all uh, through all of the stages that Link goes through, you pretty much feel the same way he does because he doesn't know what's going on. We we don't, and it de it de it de it de it de it, de it, de it definitely makes it a nice roll. And and when it and when you and when you do it, and when you either defeat a divine beast or whether you do a side quest, it also fits re 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 really well, for reasons I'll say r right after we we uh, we come back. I don't know with with us, like I said, with us not knowing something a link not know, not knowing uh, anything either. But when when something happens or when you accomplish something, it makes it even and it it's it still is it still is it still is relatable because because with Link, look, uh, what what am I trying to say say here? It's kind of weird to say a say, but and it might sound a, a, a bit corny in some ways, but. When starting off, Link doesn't remember anything, but yeah, gets told, "Hey, look, you are capable of such great things. You know, you know, you are a key that can save this whole world." Mm -hmm. And of course, if if you, if you or me or anyone else lost their memory and they get told all all, all this amazing stuff about you, you'd be like, "No, no way." <laughs> they'd be like, "No, no, surely not. Come on." Come on, I would have remembered something like that, or I would know something like that. But w and and like and like we mentioned, you know, you know, we we ourselves don't know what's going on, so we get told the exact same thing in some ways. Like, look, hey, you player, you don't know what's going on, you don't know what's happened. Neither but... does your character. Exactly, but but 
Uh, but you may not know what's going on, but you have, but you have the ability to make all of this stuff change. You're able to save the divine beast, avenge, avenge, avenge the champion. You're a, you're a, you're able to get by, uh, get past memories. You're able to stop blights and say and say and say and say and say and say how and be gan and uh, 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 and be gan and so when as well as when Link does it, you're kind you're kind of in in the same boat as he is because because uh, you're both set in the same. In the same in the same way, mm -hmm. and I might be blowing this completely out of proportion or overthinking it, but still, there is a bit of recollection of that, and I and I think it's an amazing feeling. I I, I have to say I really like the Gerudo. Mm hmm. As in a species. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. In what way? I just love I just love how strong they are, and they're just confident and just. They're really good fighters. I just like that. I admire that. Mhm. Mm I mean, I mean, what about I mean, what about your stances on like, on like you know, no men, n n no men or whatever. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that exactly, but I just love how women can be strong warriors too. I just like that. Mhm. Mm yeah. That's fair enough. I mean, I mean, in this day and age, women are getting more and more, more and more, more and more respect. In, in I want to say in every aspect really in politics. Even though this is not going to be political at all, I'm just saying <laughs> in sports, in in in, in, in media in general, which uh, which I think is a really good thing because the stronger both sides are, genders, ma 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 male or female, the better off the better off this world is. And, and, of course, have to say, it's Gerudo Town. I said it's last episode, but, ca ca a catchy music. It's an earworm. <laughs> mm-hmm. De uh, definitely. I like the Gorons, too. Mm-hmm. In what way? I just, I love how comedic they are, and just fun-loving. They just seem like a fun-loving species. Yeah. I have to say, I have to say, it's, it might have been, it might have been, it might have been part, part, it's probably our fault, but with all of the seri uh, 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 the seriousness that we we went through in the other regions, like the Zoras losing Mifa or um, the Gerudo, we have to get back uh, get back to Thunderhelm and 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 I mean helping our uh, 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 dealing with the Gerudo and and getting the Thunderhelm and. Essentially, help helping the helping the uh, the uh, the uh, the young chief because of course being 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 young and being elite 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 is not not easy, but that that's besides the point. Yeah, she seemed kind of teenager esque for me. Yeah, yeah, and that's something I mentioned during the credit a credit scene. I might and I might elaborate on. On it a bit late, a bit late, a, a bit later, but either way. And then there was the uh, uh, the Ritos with with you know the lone the uh, 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 the lone descendant, you know, just, just taking on the meadow alone and whatnot. They were all serious areas with serious situations. So having the Gorons, it did, it did, it did kind of make a slight tone, a tonal change. Mhm. Mm I mean, go from serious, 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 and then to the last what third or fourth the games. Like, look, it's all, it's all comedic now. <laughs> it was a bit, a bit of a tone jump. But again, that could be, that could be a fault on our part. But still, though, I thought, I thought the Gorons were for oh, uh. uh Oh, 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 with fun, have fun too. It was a pain to get to. Mhm. Mm the Gorn City was a pain to get from my guard. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think even the uh, the Gerudos getting into Gerudo Town was that. It was that tedious, and that and that was the episode in which we had nothing happen. Mhm. Mm so yeah, if I can say, look, it's not as bad. It it was worse than that. Then yeah, that was. It's something.
Thank you. Can you go away, please? I don't know. Is there anything else? Is there, is there anything else that comes to your mind in, in Breath of the Wild? I'm just wondering why there's so many rusty swords around. <laughs> I think I think it's because we had the side quest in which it was pointing towards the another shrine, like here. In fact, I think yeah, this was where all of the swords were point uh, were pointing to initially. I mean, I know, but like in general, there's like a lot of there's rusty claymores, rusty broadswords. Why have them there if their durability is so poor? I think remember how I mentioned the Octoroks can uh, regenerate them. Mhm. Mm I think it's giving you ammunition for that. It's like look. It's like, look, the, uh, these weapons are not good, but if you hold on to them in the right situation, they, they, they can be good. Mm -hmm. And I guess when you first start the game, anything will do. Yeah, yeah, and after all... Or getting stranded on every time, you'll gladly take a rusty broadsword. Yeah, and, and who knows, this might be, this might be where, where you first start. Mm -hmm. You could choose the desert first. <laughs> so, you know, anything's handy. And here, near, uh, and here near, near the Lumios, Lumios mine. I say that, but it's not a mine, but hey-ho. And it's not Lumios. <laughs> it's Luminous, I know, I know. I still got Pokemon in my brain, what can I say? And now we're freezing cold, despite this. Oh, is there anything else? Is there anything else that comes to your mind? Annoying monsters like the Yeek Clan and Octoroks. Yeah. Okay. So, so are you leaning towards the uh, 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 the irks of your of your experience? Mm hmm yeah, Sure. Go on. Express them. Well, in one of my solo videos that you haven't seen yet, the Octoroks, they they added to my already annoyance. Mm hmm I didn't have my my third solo video wasn't the best. That's fine. I just had a lot of bad luck. Mhm. Mm I'm sensing a Korok, but we, but we, but are we? Oh, oh, I like your thinking. If this, if, if this, if this, if this, if this, if this is actually what you you need, uh, you need to do, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> It's, it's, it's like an evil Korok. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I don't know, what do you feel like they could, uh, uh, they could have done better in regards to this? Well, maybe, maybe tone down the amount that the Yiga Clan comes out. I mean, because we killed their boss, they shouldn't have come out so much. Mm-hmm. And about the Octorox and wolves, what do you think? Maybe like, not put so many wolves. <laughs> yeah. Or at least not make them able to spot you from five miles away. Yeah. I mean, I will admit. And make them easier to hit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Because oh, yeah. Because otherwise they they become a nuisance. Mhm. Mm that's, that's fair enough. One of the things that I really find jarring. Is is the fact that wolves? In fact, in fact, all of the an animals really, they can exist in like the desert, in 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 snowy plains. I mean, like you you uh, you would find a wolf in like, in like, a desert. Mm -hmm. Now, well, actually, those are coyotes. Really? Yeah. So, what you're saying is their pal uh, uh, their palate swapped. Okay, wasteland co uh, coyote, uh, coyotes and so basically wolves, but ever uh, pal ever uh, pal ever uh, pal swapped. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you see now. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Because I want to say I want to say it's a bit lazy, but then again, it's it's Nintendo. I mean, you can't just have like what two guys, two guys model, you know. A skinnier, a skinnier quadruped. Mhm. Mm I just feel like 
Come on, you can do you, you, you can do that the, at the very least. But oh no, maybe they were pressed for time. They thought that'll do. But yeah, the fact the fact the fact they looked exactly the same. They sound uh, they sounded exactly the same, but were found in, in stupid locations. That to me was a bit of a, a hang on. Wait, wait a minute, moment. <laughs> And yeah, and yeah, and yeah, and yeah, the amount of times that the Octorox can not necessarily appear, but but the amount of times that they can hit you to a stupid degree. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you're running, you're running at full speed, far far away, but yet they're still mad, they're still able to hit you. That to me is like, come on, are you homing? Is it a homing shot? Are you serious? I'm not gonna go into that meme at all. But yeah, the fact that no matter how much you're mo you, you, a, a moving at some part, at some time it's not going to matter because they'll still hit you, I feel like it's a bit cheap. The rain mechanic, I don't think I have to say much about that. No. That's a complaint with a lot of Breath of the Wild players. Yeah, the fact that it wouldn't be so bad, but if they, if they, I, I don't know, made, I don't know, made the mechanic or... Gave you Maybe an... gave like a piece of armor with like, like grips on the ends or suction cups or something. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Or like put a piece of armor in in which you can avoid the rain because because uh, they made the thunder helm. Mhm. Mm you know, you you know it attracts lightning. There's nothing you can do about that. But still, it makes you it makes you invulnerable to it. I mean, why not do the same for rain? I mean, because it could be. I mean, I'm not saying make it easy. Mm-hmm. May, may, maybe, like, get it late game or make it in a really difficult e extra trial. Maybe in, like, Hyrule Castle or maybe do, like, the Thunder Helm or, like, to the rain. Like, the Zoras. Like, how the Zoras had a problem with rain in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You can, like, have, like, a hit, like, a hit, like, do all the Zora side quests and then you'll get, like, a slip-proof gloves or something yeah yeah it's fun never know i see what, i see what, i i see what you mean definitely did you use all of the extra stamina yeah <laughs> why i didn't mean to okay well one of mine it's gone now it's already dead but either uh, but either way we don't need it it's fine oh hasty fair enough <laughs> but yeah, just something that could uh, I could make the rain less less of a hassle. That that'd be re re really good. Mm -hmm. While Link slides down in into nothingness. I mean, something else. I mean, so I mean, so I so, saw so, something else. I I thought about is is. Shield or weapon or or weapon day, a, a degradation, because I get it. It needs to be survival, and don't get me wrong, I do like that element of the game. But the way things break, it's just or 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 or, or, or the fact that if your weapons are damaged, there's nothing you can do. They're gonna they're gonna either remain remain damaged or break or break inev inevitably. I wish there was a way in which you can upgrade them, or restore them, or fix them. I'm a bit disappointed that the Master Sword has an energy to recharge. I was hoping it'd be the only weapon in the game that didn't break or need charging. It, you can use it forever without worrying about any, without changing. Then I, then I, it might, it might run the risk of being overpowered, I guess, or like, if you have if if you have the master sword, why do you need anything else? It makes you a bit complacent, I guess, and feel like, well, I don't need any weapons. I got the master sword. That's all I need. Just swing, 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 swing. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe that's why they they uh, they did it. But still, the fact that you can't restore restore your weapons, it's it sucks. I mean, because something I I learned in in research is like Skyward Sword, that had. That had uh, that had a uh, breakable shields, mm -hmm. but you still but you still had an option to I uh, to I uh, to I uh, to I uh, 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 fix them, 
or enhance them for a bit in which they wouldn't break. Mm-hmm. And they feel like, of all the things to leave out of Breath of the Wild, you would make that something? I mean, because I guess you don't want to make the game too, too, too easy, but then not being a... But just having a situation in which you're like, oh, that's what? Oh, what that very special sword, that very special bow. Yeah, it's broke. You're screwed. Mm-hmm. That's it. You're done. And it's like that's kind of like that's kind that's kind of awkward. I mean, because what if you're fighting Ganon and then in the middle of it, the Master Sword's like, "Sorry, I need time to recharge." Then you, I then you either have to wait until until the sword recharges and try and try and try to live. Or you rely on, on on your weapons that you bought. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think the one thing that they that they intended and is something that I can admire and something I some I I support is like the answer is not always the master sword because otherwise it becomes boring and it might become tedious te- 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 that way. So it makes it for. It forces you to change things up, and I can honestly respect that. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm again. I think the game was a good challenge. I think if the master sword was a constant help, I think it might. I think I think it might run a risk of being boring. I mean, like for example, to have a, to have a game in which you just go for, oh, oh, here's an enemy, you know, in in a situation. What what's the answer? Or oh, what can I use? Master sword, master sword, master sword, master sword. Just use it. Uh, just uh, just the same uh, the same uh, same answer. It can get a bit tight, ty- tiresome. But if your master sword is gone or or you have, or you haven't got, you got, uh, got it yet. You have to think on your feet, and sometimes that gives you that other uh, sense of dopamine. Mm-hmm. It go, it go, it goes back to the feeling of completing a cha- challenge set. Rivali's uh, gale is now ready. Set by, uh, set by R- R- Rivali's gale. I just wish the weapons didn't break when they're when you're in the middle of a flurry rush. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that to me is ta- is, is immersion breaking. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Because it's a, it's it's a tad silly. Because something that I noticed or read or read upon ra- rather is that when you know you know when you mount a Lionel mm-hmm. and you and you have and you have a chance to attack them. Mm-hmm. When when you do that, your weapons don't don't get damaged. Hmm. They take no damage. You just use it and use it and use it. You could, you can essentially shoot, shoot, shoot them in the face with an arrow, mm-hmm. stun them, mount them, and 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 then hit them with with pretty much no consequence. Ah. Oh god. Oh. Nothing I like. For have just short term. Link, a Link's ragdoll. Yeah, makes things look re- look really painful, but also fun. Uh, uh, also fun, uh, fun, uh, fun, uh, fun, uh, fun at the same time. Just his his is is out of stamina. Face is funny too. Yeah, as we've made a lot of thumbnails about that. <laughs> There's been a lot of times which Link's face expressions, which have like when he gets hurt. <laughs> yeah, and that's another positive that I want to say is like. The way the way the way they've made Link more a- more animated when he kicks a when he kicks a chest with his bare feet, mm-hmm. which I showed last episode. <laughs> Link below, no, 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 but um, okay, that's a puzzle and a half. Way easy to happen, but yeah, just. Just, just the way Link is animated, it's much better, much better than. Oh, you see, you see her the view. Mm-hmm. You got to match that up. Ah, Sabin, yeah.
I don't know why I said that. What? What? We're not cheating. It's just using the things the game gave to us. <laughs> so now, where should this need to go? That is the million dollar question. I'm going to assume it needs to be. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> we didn't cheat at all, Korok. We promise. Yeah, we don't have, you know, something called the camera, which you prob pro probably ne never heard of. But oh well. Cheat cheating Link away. <laughs> or not cheating Link away. Let's be honest about that. Bye, bye, Korok. <laughs> bye, Korako. <laughs> Korako. <laughs> But yeah, just the ju ju just the way Link's face is animated in game, it's a lot better than than say the old uh, the older free 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 Zelda games like Ocarina, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. It's pretty much a blank slate. I think the closest they got to as uh, this is 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 like Skyward Sword, but I feel like they went a bit too far ba ba uh, based on the things I've seen. What, what was it worth it? Huh? See that with his facial animation. I like how his eyes just go. You see that? Yeah. Just go duh. <laughs> it's like they rattle in the head, going duh, duh. <laughs> oh, it's almost weird to see, on it. <sighs> honestly. Probably use that dra a dragon's bird we got. Yeah, but I think in Skyward Sword they might have gone a bit too far and made, and made him too comedic in some ways. Because mm -hmm. I think there's like an infamous screenshot go uh, go that uh, goes around where an important exposition goes down and Link's like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> his eye, his eyes, his eyes are like wide and just like. It just looks like it's it it it, it, it looks like he's having a bad flashback. Mm -hmm. Just like an important event is going on, and he's like, uh, and he's like eyes wide, going. <laughs> I just feel like Link's having a flashback, like Vietnam or something. No, no, but here, I think they made, I think they made it just right. It's not. It's. It's gr it's good it's good and that and that's character dur as 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 uh, during gameplay, but isn't too much in 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 cutscenes and in in poor uh, events in which it's distracting. So overall, duh, duh. Oh God. That guy cannot catch a break. You got you got the jellies and bales. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Gee, that's a centerpiece if I if I ever saw one. What do you think? A rock needs to go in there? Mm-hmm. And putting in that rock, what do you think we'll get out of it? I don't know. Maybe a rock of some sort. And how Link is get is getting this up uphill, I will never know. No. Oh my god. Well, that moved a bit, I guess. There we go, that should be enough. Oh, and... Nice! <laughs> that... Uh, that was... That was explo explo explosive results. 
<laughs> and getting us another coral rock seed. This is a new area. Yeah, it's not something we we have, we ever saw before. Don't don't worry, <laughs> he's dead. He's not coming back to life. I gotta make sure. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, but yeah, you're right. This is a new place for us, which again is something I've said. I've said, I've said numerous times in this series. If you can play a game for this long, complete a uh, complete a uh, complete the sto story, but yet still have places which in which in, in which you've never seen, it could be great. And that's a sign, and that's a sign of a terrific game. That's another thing that I've had a complaint about. What? Like if you have dialogue, sometimes they'll line the text in red and it's hard to see in the environment. Just there too. But yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Apparently the chest <laughs> Okay, that chest went kapow. It got the Korok for me. Yeah. Oh oh I wanted the chest to just ricochet off of and hit and hit and hit the Korok. And I'll take the ice arrows. Fair enough, that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's just little surprises just like that which I think make a really, a really good game better. But to your point, I see what you mean. The fact that, hey look, the text is in is in light blue, but the sky is also light blue. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, I can't see anything. Thanks, game. I don't know what I don't know what resolfos that is. I don't know if I need ice arrow, ice arrows, fire fire arrows, etc. etc. Yes, that's kind of a design choice which I feel like should not have been missed, but hey. I mean, because when you have, like, text in red when you're talking to someone, that's usually important dialogue. Mm-hmm. And you, you shouldn't miss that. No. But sometimes the red dialogue gets blended into the background. I think they should make the transparent dialogue boxes opaque. Yeah. So you can see what the words are saying, and the text doesn't get blended into the background. I think you're right. I don't know. I think maybe Japan or Japanese games just have a real problem with dialogue. I mean, because I, I mean, cause I have to simply Xenoblade Chron Chronicles X, and, and that's enough. <laughs> with the small, uh, small text boxes. Still haven't fixed that yet. Nope. And I don't think they're going to because Xenoblade Two is coming out. And blue rupee. Thank you, Naboris, for the five. Uh huh. He slid you a five for ever saving him. <laughs> hey, kid. Thanks for saving me. It's I. It's I. It's either that or that's a Erbosa. In which case, I don't think you should be taking m m money from late ladies. But hey ho. <laughs> but either way. But no. Yeah, I see what you mean. The text colors. It's a dumb choice. It should. I. 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 I, I they 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 definitely should have a text box for that, a proper one which which is okay with the colors. But hey, that's just that's just a little nitpick in my opinion. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. So it's a very silly one to miss. I don't know. And I think going on to one of, of the biggest bugbears I have with this game, and I again I did talk about this during j during a credit scene. So so. It's up to you if you want um, to listen to me to, I don't know, go about this again. But I have to say the the champions I love. They they're all great in their in their own ways. Uh, Daru, uh, uh, Daru is that is a is that strong is is that strong but also a uh, comedic type. Mifa Mifa is that soft spoken. Soft-spoken, uh, intel, 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 intelligent warrior who has the, and caring. Yeah, exact, exactly, and who has you know, a relationship with Link <laughs> implied, but you know, you wait, it's kind, it's kind, it's kind, it's kind, it's kind, it's kind, it's kind of obvious. You've got Rivali, who is confident, cocky in some way, in some ways, but also humble, and then you've got a Bowser, which is like all style, all strength, all all confidence. So it's always appealing, but the champions or the or 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 the descendants, I, I should say, I. It's not the case that I don't like them, but it's just the case they do not get. That's a stalker. 
I don't feel like they get enough time to really, to really stand out. I mean, especially, especially the Rito champion. I mean, like, when we first met him, he was like, we, 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 we met him at, at, at the archer's range. And it's like, so, you're here to help? Okay, fine. Sh I shoot these targets. He didn't even ask for the Sheikah Slate. Exactly. There was just no build-up, no, nothing. It was just like, hey, want to help? Okay, shoot targets. You shot them. Cool. Cool. Let's go. I think the Rito and the Gorons didn't recognize the Sheikah Slate. Yeah, which is... I get... I guess I can make a pass on, on the Rito one because he seemed... Well, no, I say I say make a pass on the Goron, on on on, on the Goron ascend, ascend, ascendant because he's young. May, maybe he doesn't pay much attention to you know the legends uh, uh, as of late. But it's kind it's kind of weird because up until that those points, everyone of significance that we talked to where where it was the Zoras, where whether it was. A bomb kill on two walls, very nice. <laughs> or where, or, or wherever it was the, it was it was the uh, Gerudos or or Impa in Ka, in Ka, in Ka, in Ka, in Ka, or 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 anyone at the Athena Research Facility, or of 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 or back in Akala, everyone noticed the Sheikah Slate, and then you get. A Korok in a very tense situation. <laughs> very cool. He's watching you, by the way. He's going, Hey, you found me. Sucks for you. I'm back. Oh, God, no. That's a very bad place for him. Look at that. He's right. He's right in the middle of them. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead. He's going. They're now looking at him going, Tee hee. <laughs> um, hi. Oh, boy. No, no. But again, Everyone, everyone of significance we talked to, they they recognize the slain for. Oh wow, you are a big deal, you know. You are, or could be, or could be the champions. So we'll take you ser seriously. Here, here, here is what's going on. But with the Rito and the Goron, just to have those moments which. In which, like, okay, come on, recognize the slate, recognize the slate, we're waiting for it, and then for it not to come, be like, what? Hang on, wait, are you... I, I mean, because Rito's descendant didn't even know the name Link at all. Exactly, and you would have thought, you know, if you were a descendant of, you know, of Ravali, you know, the ancient hero of, you know, your species, you would kind of think to know, hey, you know what? He also worked with the champions, you know, the princess and this other guy. I mean, did the chief of the Rito Village recognize Link? Um, he didn't. Um, he didn't. Um, he didn't recognize Link per se, but he did notice the slate and thought he were the champion's descendant. Mhm. Mm At least that is some sort of significance. At least you know what? Yeah, thank you. We, you know what? We are taken kind of ser uh, seriously, but. To, but to, but to get the Goron and Rito descendants to be like, eh, I don't see the slate. <laughs> it kind of looks bad on them because it shows a, shows a they're not very observant and two they're not knowledgeable of 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 their history and in some sort it's dis it's dis it's dis it's disrespectful to the champions. Mm -hmm. Be like, hey. I had this great, I have, I have, I have this great ancestor, and therefore this great, uh, this great lineage. I'm not going to pay attention to it at all. So it's like, are we meant to care for you, or are we meant to, you know, respect your species? If you're not going to respect, respect, respect your history, it just seems like, really. I don't know. But again, though, I don't think it's because of bad characters. I just don't think they have enough time to really, to really, hey, Cora, awkward again. <laughs> at least, at least the monsters are gone. Yeah. Again, I just don't think they have time to shine. I mean, because they appear for one scene and then, they, and then, and then they just hang around in, 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 in their city. Go, I think, 
Thanks for saving us. <laughs> Have fun. And I, and I. Rivali's gale is now ready. Thank you. And I just feel like if you guys, you know, had helped us with with the divine beast fight, you know, or said, or just at 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 the end say, hey, 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 you know what? You know what? You're you're taking the fight to Ganon, right? Well, you know what? We'll help you. The species will help you. The Zora, the Goron, the Rito, the Gru, uh, the Gerudo. They're we're all gonna help join join fight just like our ancestors would. You know that would have been a really good thing, a thing to see. After a hundred years of species separation, for the most part, they all come together because Link helped each and every one one of them out, and all of the descendants lead lead that charge. I thought it would have been a good, a great thing, but again, just having. Us save their homelands, respectively, mm -hmm. and then, and then they drop us off at the divine beast, saying, "Good luck, bye." Especially, I have to say, especially, I don't, I don't, I don't remember his name, but the Goron descendant, Yenobo. Yeah, yeah, Yenobo. The fact that, the fact that we, we, the fact that we jumped down, you know, you know. You know, to take, uh, to take, uh, to take on the divine beasts, and he, and he, and he, and he, and he just stood on top, on top, on top, on top of the cliff, going, "Whoa, I'm not jumping down there." <laughs> just seems like, it's like really, that's what, that's what we are trying to protect here—a guy who's not willing to help us out. Nick Korok once again, very awkward. <laughs> if I, if I see meeting you up here. I don't know if maybe we just had a bit more time with them, and maybe they helped us out in the fi in in in, in the fi final battle. I mean, may may maybe you could have had a barrage of barrage a barrage of guardians, and and they helped and they helped you out. Mhm. Mm you know that would be a bonus thing. I mean, I mean, especially since. As soon as soon as soon as the game starts, you have you have the option to go straight for uh, the castle and not help out and not stop the divine beasts, you know, and that makes the final boss difficult. You could do the same thing, you know, with the champions, not help out the champions and yet have a hell of a lot more to go uh, uh, to go through, mm -hmm. more more uh, more um, and more guardians, more enemies, but just to get nothing from that and not. <laughs> Much character in that in that area, just just feels a bit empty to me. And and ha, and you hit his toe. <laughs> on 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 again. That's pro. That's pro. That's pro. That's probably my my uh, my biggest bug there. Again, I don't feel like I don't feel like it's bad. I just feel like it's a waste of opportunity, and it's pro. And it's probably the most. If I if I'm most um, obvious of missed opportunities, but on to positives though, in in term in term in terms of the story, he he he's just core rock ever. <laughs> and hit his toe again. You oh you hit him on the head, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you prick. I oh, know, but from F. And negatives, and negatives to positives. I gotta say, as far as far as Zelda, Zelda goes, I honestly, I honestly, I honestly really, really like her. As far, as far, as far, as far, as far, as far, as far as, far as this game goes, because I mentioned a bit how I heavily respect, you know, her having a, her having all of these duties, but she still wants to have. A normal life, researching what uh, what she wants to, and not have and not have and and having to rely rely on Link so much. And I just think that all of that just makes her a really oh no, just I'm not gonna say a fantastic character, but a much better char a character than what and what she's had to deal deal with. Mhm. Mm of which, what is this? It's a shrine quest thing. Ah. Oh yeah, the snowballs. I I I remember that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think 
I think it's much better than than the iterations we've had we've had in previous games. Apart from maybe Skyward Sword, I've heard I've heard I've heard that Skyward Sword is law is has been has been rated as one as one of the best character games in Zelda in 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 Zelda in Zelda, in Zelda series. I know Skyward Sword has been controversial with all of the motion controls and whatnot, but <laughs> I've heard people, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard people of what they've played of it have praised the story and have praised and have praised the characters. Link, Link and Zelda especially. I don't think we have to talk about motion controls. No, we don't talk about that. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That brings up another. Another, another aspect of the game that I don't like the emotion controls. The motion controls have never blended well with with, with the Wii U. I think it's unnecessary. I think it is completely changing of a tone because here. Because with a trial, it's very elegant, it's very mysterious, and you know, it's it sort it sort of gives the essence of of, of like this is holy ground. Respect it. Mm -hmm. The one thing you do not want want to feel in that area is like most control, just like just, just, just like flipping. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, just holding a tablet and then tilting it wildly up, down, left, right. What do you think was the worst motion control puzzle? Oh, in terms of what? In terms of actual practicality or just personal experience? Personal experience. Oh, I have to say the hammer one has got to be mine. Because... Really? No. And not the not the ball tilting one? Oh, the ball tilting one. Oh, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Cause that's my that was my least favorite with tilting, <laughs> trying to get the three balls in the slots. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think you're right. Practicality wise, that's probably the most annoying. Cause since the most controls, albeit albeit is very one to one, but it still is very sensitive, and even the slightest jerk just makes it go all over the place. And I don't know where I don't know whether it's our, our our tablet or our sensor, but we were holding the Wii U straight on. We were not, you know, at an angle or anything. It's like look straight and flat, but just like it wouldn't work. And that's where I think most controls fail, because either you do it one to one and get and get it absolutely per perfect, which is a balance, which is a balancing act and a miracle in 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 in, in, in of itself to pull off, or you just have a travesty and you just have an annoying and tedious seg segment. Now, thankfully, the mo uh, and mo and most controls were few and far in, in between, mm -hmm. depending on which trials you ran you ran into. I cannot imagine the frustrate the uh, frustration one would feel if you if you did like all of the most controls tri tri trials in a row mm -hmm. if you just had that bad luck or just that bad search search experience you would get frustrated because you would feel like I just, it's, just, it's just all most controls just all most controls i hate it well hello buddy <laughs> i was afraid of that yeah well but yeah just to just to get the motion, just to, just just to have motion controls. I just feel like, oh no, it's just really, it's just really weird. And for me, for me, it just seems out of place because motion controls, that was the Wii's thing. It was the Wii's gimmick. That with the Wii U, especially, especially with how little it it was utilized, it just seemed out of place to me. And goodbye. And and, and and like I said, in the tone and the settings that that the trials are try are trying to convey, 
just clashing that with just a mix of like up, down, left, right. No, 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 not quite. A little bit there. No, damn it, reset. Oh God, I hate this. Mm -hmm. It just makes the thing just a clash of styles and a clash of tones and it just does not mix at all. It didn't help when the game crashed during motion no, control. No, no, that and that's why I saw, I was on the fence in where in whether I thought the hammer one was the one I hated the most because I did that perfectly one to one in the first go but it just crashed on me it was like nope you're not doing it <laughs> nope but yeah I think you have a point I think I think the free ball po puzzle wa was the worst because it's taking the first trial that we ever did from a FMO use control and just tripling the tediousness and frustration, which is never a good thing. But I do have to say, I think the only positive thing to ever come out of those motion controls was the way that I handled the first motion control trial. With just me flipping the whole maze on its side on the fence and essentially flicking it up in in hit into the goal. Mm -hmm. I don't think Nintendo were were counting on it being done in that way, <laughs> but I can appreciate them for saying, look, here's the way you're meant to do it, but we will give you the freedom in having the the controller be, mo uh, be most huge controlled, free 360 degrees all round. <laughs> so, as you can flip the maze on on its on on its side upside down, whichever one suits you best. <laughs> so I can at least respect respect them for thinking about that, because I cannot imagine how long it would have taken if if we just had to tilt it, tilt it flat uh, uh, flatwards. Mm -hmm. We might still be there to this day. We <laughs> we don't know. We might have given up on that shrine, and we're having just to do it now. Exactly, or, 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 or given up on a game, on the game, because, like I mentioned, if you did five motion control trials in one go, and and and, and you hated them all, you were saying, "I'm done, I'm just done. I hate, I hate, I, I, I hate motion controls, and I've had nothing but motion controls." <laughs> that gives us 29. We are clearing out this place like nobody's business. <laughs> but yeah, most controls, they are, they are, no matter, it doesn't matter if they are in Zelda or in any of Nintendo's games. I think the time for motion controls has passed on, honestly, especially especially since you are having a console which is as big and as cumbersome as the uh, as the Wii U tablet. Motion controls have always been awkward to deal with in anything. Yeah, I mean, I mean they got it right with with uh, with the Wii for the most part. I'm gonna say most part. I mean, like Wii Sports that uh, that was. That was that was a good test for it, and you know what? It worked. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say all games worked with motion controls. My God, I simply have to think about may 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 maybe saw maybe saw 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 Nick in the Secret Rings. That was that was a joy for most controls. I tell you what, if if you've ever played if you've ever played the final boss, oh, good luck. That's another thing I don't like. The fact that electricity makes you drop all all things. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it makes sense, but then it sort of relies it relies on it being realistic. I mean, because if you get shocked, I imagine you're not hanging on to anything. <laughs> but again, though, it does make a bit of a it does make a bit of a I guess a, again again a weird tonal change. The fact, the, the, fact, the fact that this game it, it wants it wants to be Zelda, and it is Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, it's fantasy settings. You, you know, it's all magic, Triforce and whatnot. But then, but then, but then, but then, add, add, adding real world mechanics here, 
it just sort of doesn't blend doesn't blend well in some areas and just having these just have and just having these things that affect you like electricity it does uh, it does create problems up once again and what and, and, and what I was mentioning just now is be, is again it wants to be Zelda it wants to be magic and and, and everything but then it clashes in its style when it adds these the uh, 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 real world Im implications like it's like saying hey it's okay like, hey, when when it's raining you you can't climb you can climb that easy hey when you get shocked you you uh, you uh, you drop everything everything you have hey you know what you are you are um, uh, your items and metal is going to attract electricity, and 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 you're gonna get shocked. And you kind of have to say, "Hey, wait a minute, why?" And and you and 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 gamers might might say, uh, "You know what? These these mechanics kind kind of suck." But yet, fans and perhaps maybe N N Nintendo themselves might give might give the excuse of like, "Hey, well, that's how it works in real life." But then again, though, this isn't real life. This is Zelda. This is like again fantasy. I mean, because like in a way, I kind of like the real world aspects with how like cold bothers you and heat bothers you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, being a video game, you want to get away from the real world. Exactly, and it's just like it's. It's just I don't mind them, but it just it is it, 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 it just depends on how on how they affect you, like 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 the rain for example. If you need to get up somewhere, as in climb, okay, that is cool. I guess you just gotta have to throw it and put it in. Or <laughs> Link is Link. Okay, so how come you can pick this up but not a big boulder? Because 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 again. Video game. Unless it's an ice block. Again, video game. This ties in. This ties in to what. Uh, to what. Uh, to what. Uh, to what I was mentioning. He can pick up a heavy snowball, but not a heavy rock. Yeah, it's an ice block. Okay, fair enough. But still, uh, so, uh, so ice is heavy. <laughs> you, you, are uh, you try, are uh, you try pick, uh, picking up a ma a ma a ma a massive ice block? See if you can, can handle it. Again, the way I see it, it all, it all, it all depends in how much the game hinders you. For example, if you want to climb something, or something you need to climb it, you know, saying, yeah, they're saying, well, well, in order for story progression, I need to go up, but there's rain. Mhm. Mm so, okay, fine. Okay, fine. You have. Okay, fine. You have a problem. How do you get around the rain? You have to wait it out. You wait. You stop. You stop playing the game. Essentially, you stop what you start. You stop what you're doing and do something else. And the reason why I think that's a bad thing is it is it is is, 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 is because what were games originally meant to do? Take you away from reality. Exactly. It was. It was. It was designed for that very thing. Oh, you have this going on. Well, you can do something else, I, I e video game. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but if the video game itself is saying, "Oh, we can't do this right now. Go, 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 uh, go do something else," it sort of, it sort of just gives you a bad, a bad, a bad feeling because, like, well, I have to wait in order for the best way. The best way I can say it is. Is is it's is it's a game ga a, a game saying, or just a situation in which you feel like, well, I want to continue to have fun, I want to enjoy playing the game, and and the game says, oh well, no, sorry, you you, you have to wait. Especially, <laughs> especially in a game like this, in which, in which like open world, go go your own way, 
do 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 whatever the hell you want at any time and then for the game to turn around and say no 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 can't no 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 can't do this right now <laughs> you've got to wait you've got to wait you've got to wait for the fun to continue because i told you so <laughs> and that concept just it rubs people the wrong way and rightfully so because if you if you tell someone hey look you can have fun do what you want but then and then suddenly turn around and say no 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 can't do that now you'd be like well what the hell you just told you, you give you, you give me the impression that I can and it's just that feeling of what I have in what I have in what I have the biggest prop prop pro, if I'm with into into in, in terms of the real life implication that Octrock is give, is give, is giving you hell. <laughs> Thanks, Daruk. <laughs> okay, cool. Rolling, rolling. <laughs> Keep on rolling. He's going off the cliff. He's going off the cliff. It is escaping off the cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, ragdoll. Okay, ragdoll fit. Physics in on items, I can heavily respect that. It's going up. The... <laughs> keep, keep going. You can do it, balloon. Don't stop. No, no, never stop. Not stopping. Yes. <laughs> Are you chasing after it? <laughs> and just like that, it turns it turns something negative, like the conversation we were just talking about. It's something positive, and that was all, folks. Turned it right back into a negative. You suck, good sir. <laughs> but now, uh, uh, and now you're dead and vaporized. So good day to you. But it can't be for you because you're dead. You're nothingness now. You're nothing. Now we have to find a rock. Gale is now ready. You don't think it's up top, do you? Have to chuck it down. Just thinking. Well, the thing with the Korok puzzles where you had to fill in the circle, mm -hmm. the gap is usually pointing towards the direction of the rock. You think so? That's what the book said. Well, since it's pointing upwards, I guess we go this way. No, no. But that's just my my thought on on the weather and just the real real world. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, it's a chest. The way it works. But yeah, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the real world. And real world elements are of, of of this game. I can appreciate it, but it just seems very indecisive in what it wants to be at times. We want to be a real world game. We want to be a Zelda 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 game, and we're gonna tell you exactly what we are. Yeah, it wouldn't be beneath. Oh wait, is that it? You no, that's gotta be a different core. Oh, oh, no, 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 not to the side. There's, there's, yeah. Nice. And sure enough, that is another core in the bag. <laughs> And that gives us 31 Korok seeds. Nice. And if it's like on cue, it's raining now, present, uh, presenting its its ugly head. It's, <laughs> u it's ugly, wet, rain, rainy head. It's ugly, wet, rainy keys head. Eh. But I think with the descendants and 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 the weather elements, and maybe. Oh no, Ooh, there are a few things that I'm I might bring up um, in in other episodes, but I think ever uh, ever uh, uh, I think I found I've had I've had I've had my fair share of of I guess you could say my review or my opinion on the game. Mm -hmm. I've still got some other things I want to talk about, but eh, well we'll be fine. But overall, though, if I had to make a summary. Breath of the Wild, it's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> and and I gotta make that pun. Both uh, uh, both uh, both uh, uh, both uh, the Zelda conventions because it definitely is better than like and 
like uh, 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 like enter first dungeon, get item, use item once, exit dungeon, go go to second dungeon, rinse and repeat, and then final boss. This definitely is much better. And I think with its looks, its characters, its music, and just the way, just and just its presentation as well. Do not burn, do not burn, uh, 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 not burn that tree down. But uh, just, but, but just, just the way it presents itself, I think it's a great game, and definitely, definitely in the running for one, one of the, one of the best games of. Of, of the year. And finally, we get that cor a Korok. <laughs> and I don't think it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just in our eyes. Breath of the Wild has been praised by a lot, a lot of people, and it's kind of obvious to see why. As but, it rains down on us again. <laughs> uh -huh, with the moon, with the moon overhead. But it has, it has, it has its problems. But overall, I think it's a fantastic game. Like I said, if I had to make if I had to make a summary, I'll say it again. Breath of the Wild is definitely a breath of fresh air. As Link sneaks through the grass and jumps through the grass in 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 iffy style. <laughs> but I think uh, 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 I think that's enough for the episode. We went, we went for a long time this episode. <laughs> Coral hunting, going, uh, going back and forth with the at uh, this podcast, I guess podcast episode. I don't know. We're still though. Is that a problem though? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm fine with it. I could play this game for hours on end. It's just like Xenoblade. Mm -hmm. I could spit. I could put 300 plus hours into this game and you know what if you feel that way about the game then you know what it's doing something right i just wish there was a new game plus or something to make it more fulfilling in the end well i guess eventually we'll we'll find out if there is or not i've all i've all i've all the dlc co are coming out but i guess we'll call that an, an episode here so if they would stop chat 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 are that are here in in Breath of the Wild, and maybe di 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 diving into the content that didn't make it in into the final game. But until then, guys, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be here and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and talk to this Korok. <laughs> so staring contest time again. So. We'll see you guys next time for Le F Legends of the Breath of the Wild. And okay, damn it, Core Rock, you won. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching, guys. See, I see you then.